I'm delighted to be joined once again by Tim Johnston, the co-founder and executive chairman for LifeCycle. Tim, it's great to see you. Thanks for a few minutes. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for having me. So the first question is bringing our viewers up to speed. Remind them what LifeCycle is doing on a daily basis and what your presence is here in our area in Rochester. Yeah, absolutely. So we are a recycling company. We focus on lithium-ion batteries. Uh, everything from the scrap and the waste that's generated through the manufacturing process uh, up to and including end-of-life material. So things like consumer uh, batteries, things that come from our phones and laptops and the like, uh, all the way up to and including electric vehicles, energy storage systems. We take all that material in, we process it through our spoken hub network, we process it into intermediate products uh, through our spoke network, across North America and now growing uh, around the globe uh, to produce these intermediate materials, which are ultimately coming back to Rochester. And uh, in terms of what are we doing in Rochester? Well, we've been in Rochester, as you know now, for, for a couple of years with our first uh, North American US-based uh, spoke facility. And now we're building the refinery. That's the next step. It's the hub part of the process where we're taking those intermediate materials and we're turning them back into the chemicals, the materials, to go back into the battery supply chain. So it's the, it's the cog will ultimately bring all these pieces together. That spoke facility you referenced is at Eastman Business Park. The hub facility, is that going to be at the same location or elsewhere? It's very close. So it's all part of the old Eastman uh, Business Kodak Park. Uh, and so we're just about one mile uh, to the south of the spoke facility. Why do you continue to grow in Rochester? What is, what is it about our community that's been such a good fit for LifeCycle? We love Rochester. We, we've got great organizations like the Greater Rochester Enterprise Group, which have been a huge support uh, in terms of being able to help us grow and, and develop our business here. Uh, we're surrounded by great infrastructure. Uh, as you know, Rochester has been an industrial city uh, for decades now, and what we're able to do is use a lot of this historic infrastructure for the benefits of developing our business for this new energy economy that, that is emerging. Second, you're supplied by great people. We have a great resource pool uh, here in the Rochester region. Uh, we love all, all of our employees at the current spoke facility. We're starting to bring people in now for, for the hub process. You combine that with the universities and the trade schools and and other great initiatives in the region that are supplying this resource pool. All these things combine to make it just a great location for us to build out our business. Well, it's a, a success story to say the least and a continuing success story as you now build out this hub. We're excited about that and grateful for the update. Tim, thank you for the time. Thank you so much for your time, Mark. Lots more online about LifeCycle, and we encourage you to check it out. LifeCycle.com is the website. We'll share that on ours as well at RochesterFirst.com.